my name is Sandra Vilhadi, I'm from Kuwait. Hello, my name is Eduardo Jaimes and I'm from Colombia. Hi, my name is Shuo, I'm from China. Hello, my name is Hamid and I'm from Kuwait. Hello, my name is Maria and I'm from Colombia. Hello, my name is Abdullah Al Suwed, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Hello, my name is Israel and I'm from Kuwait. Hello, my name is Tehan Kim and I'm from South Korea. Hey there, my name is Ahmed Najidi and I'm from Kuwait. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Saddam. I'm from Chad. Hello, my name is Khalid Shamiri and uh, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Hello, my name is Josh. I'm an instructor at the Center for Intensive English Studies and I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, most of the students here at CAS are learning English. Uh, we all have a plan. Some are here for work, others are learning a new language for school. Uh, many of our students uh, graduate from CAS to move on to an American uh, university, whether the plan is to join FSU, another school, or to go home. We all have a plan. Uh, CIS has been a great uh, learning experience. It has a great study environment, uh, phenomenal teachers, and it's an amazing place to improve my English and take it to the next level. Being part of CIS has been amazing for my English learning process, even though the beginning was a strain for me trying to be part of a new culture. When I moved here, I didn't know how to behave. I didn't know what was good or bad, and sometimes I felt frustrated. Finally, I started to improve and understand more when I made American friends and people from other countries. Here at CIS, I learned to be careful about how to say hi to people of different cultures. We've been here for a month, and I'm still learning how to greet people without being awkward. In my country, when you say hi to someone, we usually say hi and kiss them on the cheek. Here, I don't know how to act because I don't want to seem weird or rude to people. Before coming to the U.S., I heard many things and stereotypes about many countries. And then I met the people from these countries, and as it turned out, all these stereotypes are erroneous. At the end of the day, it's not where we're from that defines us, it's who we are as individuals. And you know what they say, you can't judge a book by its cover. I am on a government scholarship, and I chose the U.S. for my bachelor's degree. After I finished high school, I started my new life in America, which was completely different. It's different in scholastic and social sense. On the scholastic side, of course, everything in English. I mingle with people who are from different cultures. Teachers are both male and female. At home, I only had female teachers in high school. Socially, I came to the United States by myself without any member of my family, and I live without a roommate. Also, I found that there are no other Kuwaiti women. This is my first time in, in America, and I, and I accept the differences, and I feel that I can do it because of my desire. When I came to the U.S., I thought American culture was exactly as I imagined it. My perception about American culture from Hollywood movies changed after living in the States. The people here friendly, funny, and flexible. And I found the environment of work and study is more comfortable. People here try to help others as much as possible. In addition, the relationships here can be out of the boundaries of work and study limits. I think there is a big difference between what you see and what you read. Actually, I have immersed myself in American culture rather than just reading about it. The United States is a wonderful place to build yourself and enjoy your life. There are a wider range of cultures, customs, behaviors, and religions here. However, we also share some commonalities regardless of cultural differences, such as friendship, love, peace, family, and passion. At CIS, there are diverse people from all over the world. Sometimes, there are conflicts between them due to misunderstandings from cultural differences. However, we come to the point where we admit our differences, examine them, and overcome them. By doing so, we have begun to realize that we are actually very similar in our values, goals, and dreams, regardless of ethnicity and nationality. What I love the most about CIS is the blend of cultures that we have here. You get to meet people from all over the world and learn about their cultures and have a cultural exchange throughout your time here at the center and you get to make friends from these countries that you've never thought of going to 
or never thought of meeting these people from these countries. So at CIS you get to do these things and ultimately we're all here for one goal and that's learning English. At the beginning when I came here, I was afraid of speaking and I spent lots of time organizing my words. The teachers are so patient here and wait for you to think. The teachers also really care about our families, who we are as a people and how our lives are. They are nice, enthusiastic, interesting and motivating. Studying here makes you feel like you are at home. CIS has amazing and innovative teaching method that I've never experienced in my life. CIS makes a student acquire the language, not just learn it. When I came here in America for the first time, I felt very welcome. Teachers are excellent, they give us advice, help us out in many different situations, and have group-oriented student-centered lessons. Moreover, it's absolutely forbidden to speak in another language, such as Chinese, French, Arabic, Spanish, etc. Only English is accepted here at CIS. Also, outside of class, there are many extracurricular activities such as playing soccer, cooking group, and the conversation partner program. I'm here to learn English. I've, I feel I'm at the right place to master English and to become very fluent. Anyone can learn English in their home country, but most of them want to prove due to the fact that they are not practicing it. Living in the United States forced me to practice my English, which in time has drastically improved my second language. In addition to that, it has helped me to break the language barrier that I have been facing for so long. It has been a pleasure and an honor to teach such a diverse group of students. Teaching here has shattered my perception of cultural norms and stereotypes. I wish everyone the best as they transition into an American university, and I hope that no one forgets their seminal roots here at Florida State.